Hello, folks! How are we doing today? Ah, oh, I'm having a good day. Um, happy Pokemon Day! It's a glorious celebration. It's kind of nice that we were uh, playing Pokemon Yellow here. So we can just get back at it in celebration of Pokemon Day. Also, I don't know who else is excited. I had posted out on TikTok that I was really manifesting a Legends Johto type of game. But uh, I think Le Legends ZA is also going to be really, really cool. I always thought that they would do some sort of like Pokemon Z something. They always had that like in their back pocket because they... Because, like, the whole fan base always kind of knew that that was something that was kind of famously canceled. Um, and to see it come back in this way is super awesome. Um, I am going to buy some stuff from this here Cinnabar Island Pokemart. Um, we don't really need Pokeballs anymore. Um, get it. Ten Hyper Potions, Full Heals, yes. I'm buying 20 of these right now and we sh should do us for the rest of the run. I love to get to this point in the game where I just have enough money where I can just like buy all the healing items that I could possibly need. Um, I'm really gonna sell my Pokeballs because we don't need those anymore. The squad is pretty much filled out. We do have seven Great Balls. Um, uh, we'll see if we want to go out of our way to maybe catch something fun. Um, I will buy a, just a couple more hypers. Sick. Okay. Um, so yeah, Pokemon Day, super cool. Um, obviously I'm an enormous fan of Pokemon. I decided that it would be the first thing i play here. And I've spoken before that I was a ridiculously huge fan of the Legends Arceus game that they made and I'm just so happy that they are continuing that series. I just really really wanted them to do that because there's so much cool like lore to pull from. Um, that's really really awesome. Um, but talking about what we're playing here um, we just have a lot of odds and ends things to do um, that can help us level up the squad so we can kind of continue through the game. You see here, this is the Sylph Company. And if you recall, when we came by here earlier, the Sylph Company in this game is very much kind of like the big tech giant. It's very much like an Amazon or an Apple. Um, that's kind of like what Sylph is in this game. And listen to this music when we walk in. There's some criminals in here. Um, but uh, if you recall, earlier there was a Team Rocket grunt sitting outside so we couldn't get in. So now this kind of leads us to our like big Team Rocket story. Because I think if I'm not mistaken, um, pardon me, I'm going to speed up here because I think think that's what is happening. Yes, you see how that Team Rocket guy is still in front of the gym. We cannot com continue through the story until we go through the Sylph Co. here. And this is a great place at this part of the game to really help you level up your squad. Um, it was really awesome last stream seeing my wife really come through in the clutch and defeat Koga's Venomoth. Um, last stream, but we were super underleveled, so there are a ton of rocket grunts in here. Um, so we'll probably just have a lot of battling to do. And yeah, like this guy's got five Pokemon. And all these levels are kind of in like, you know, the mid 20s or so. I'm really hoping our boy Titus can start pulling his weight, um, because that would be incredible. Um,. Ooh, also, I actually don't know. I think he maybe famously can't. 
Zubat will stay in. Um, pardon me. Get that strength going. Because our boy Copter is a part rock type. Oh yeah, we're one shot with strength now. Titus can finally show his muscles here. Because if you weren't with us uh, last episode, Titus was getting blasted. Um, uh, yes, it is how I what I feared. Um, our boy Copter will not be able to learn the move Rock Slide. Um, which is something that we would really like for him to be able to do. Um, just another one of the silly little Gen 1 things that we have to deal with. Um, because he's like probably the strongest rock type in the game and it doesn't really make any sense that he can't learn the best rock move, but it's whatever. Um, he'll just be an awesome flying type for us. There we go. So, okay, so... There are tons of rockets in here, as you can see. Um, and something that we will encounter as we make our way through Sylphco is... I'm just gonna save real quick. There are a lot of these shuttered doors that we can't get past, and there are a lot of warp panels, which we saw a little bit of in the the rocket hideout in Celadon City. Good critical hit. Um, but those were kind of like pushing warp panels. These warp panels are teleporting, um, which is really cool. And it really just shoots you from floor to floor in the Sylph Company, which is a really cool thing. Um, and my girl wife here, awesome critical hit. She's good against these electric types because electric is not very good against grass. However, in this game, I don't think Voltorb or Magnemite really learn many electric moves. Um, oh, and here's Magneton. Hoo hoo, mysterious. Uh, we'll try to put Magneton to sleep. That's great. Um. So again, we're targeting level 38 for my wife. Um, all right. Acid. Acid is another one of those things. It's a poison move in this game. It's a poison move, always. Um, but in later generations, Magneton and Magnemite are a steel type. And in those generations, poison moves don't affect steel types, which is why it feels weird using a poison type move on a steel type, steel type Pokemon. Um... So, yeah, we'll get to these warp panels. Like, here's an example right here. And it just shoots us up somewhere. Um, bee -bee -bee. We'll go into Boney here. And as you can see down there, there is that little shuttered door. Um, so we can't get through there without a special key. But that is something that we will have to find on the, I believe, like... 11 or 12 floors of the Sylph Company. Yeah, it's a lot. It's kind of like a big dungeon. It's pretty much the biggest um, Team Rocket event that we have in the game. And you're like, here, can't get through there. Usually what I like to do is I kind of like to go floor by floor and beat a lot of the trainers um, and kind of clear it out a little bit. Like, see, there's a couple more of those doors that we'll be able to get through. Like, I'll fight this guy. Um, I I do know where the key is, and I can pretty much go straight to it. See, his bone club won't affect our boy Copter. But Copter's only got physical moves, and that's still not great against Cubone. Um, but yeah, I usually kind of like to go through the floors and defeat a lot of the trainers. Um, we can stay in on Zubat. That not very effective sign sound. Okay. Ah, uh, I love using Aerodactyl. I never really use Aerodactyl much in this game. Um, which is super cool. See, there's another warp panel. 
Um, but yeah, I do know where the card key is. I always have a vague sense of where things in it, things are in this dungeon, but I kind of just always forget a little bit. Um, because I've, I mean, I've played this game so many times, as we've spoken about many times. Um, but some things just don't like to stick in your brain. But, uh, how was everyone's day? Um, if you're watching this later sometime on YouTube or whatever, just comment how your day was. Um... Mine was a, mine was good. It was uh, it was fun to get like the Pokemon Day stuff. That was uh, a really fun surprise. Um, some of my kids kind of had tough days at school. Um, not my children, the kids I work with at school. For those of you who don't know, um, but overall it was okay. It was okay. Um, I had an audition yesterday, which is really cool. Um, uh, we're gonna see... Nope. That makes me sad. Come on, copter! Damn it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so I'm probably gonna wanna go back and heal it. I might just use a revive. Um, we'll go ahead and keep the angel. But yeah, I had an audition yesterday. Um, I don't think I've talked about this here. Um, I am slash was an actor. Um, I live in Ohio now. I used to live in Los Angeles. Um, I have some experiences on a couple movies, um, just in small parts. Uh, funny enough, they both shot in Ohio, which is funny. Um, but I also have some theater experience as well, some pro theater, which is, which is cool. Um, but probably... And I won't mention this many times, but everyone always asks, like, oh, yeah, you're an actor? What's the most famous thing you were in? And the most famous thing that I am in is a movie called Carol. Um, I am in the first scene of that movie. Um, it came out in 2015. Um, yeah, so I was in college when this happened, which was super cool. And that was, you know, when I was more kind of in the thick of acting because I was studying it. But it's shot in Cincinnati. It is about these two ladies that fall in love in the 50s. And I have a really nice little part um, in the very first scene of that movie. So if you are watching this, watch Carol. Preferably on demand. Um, but uh, yeah, it was an amazing experience. And kind of helped me get an agent out in L.A. And... Um, you know, L.A. was a mixed bag. It, uh... I can't say it was my favorite place I've ever lived. I didn't love living there. Um... And the lifestyle of being an actor is just so hard. Um... Like, lifestyle-wise, I did not thrive as an actor. Um... I really like acting. And I say that all the time. This Zubat just keeps confusing us. Um, and that's, that'll hurt. Um, I always tell people I loved acting, and I love acting. I just don't love being an actor, which is kind of why it's um, something that I've put on the back burner a little bit in my life. Um, I'm really trying to get some levels on wife because I want her to evolve, but she's got to get to 38. Um... Oh, crap. Okay, good. Nice bone club miss there. Um, but, all that being said, I did have an audition yesterday. And there are still auditions that come through here. Like I said, um, my movie opportunities were in Ohio. Carol, like I said, shot in Cincinnati. Um, but, it was for something that will actually be on a streaming service. I don't think I can say much about what it is. Um, but it was for like a real movie and I will usually try to go out of my way to audition for things like that. Um, that are in things for movies that I think 
people would maybe have a chance to see. Or even not. Just ones that, you know, ones that pay pretty well. Um, there we go. Not very effective. Um, but yeah, it went well. And if any of y'all are thinking about being actors, just know that the audition could go super well. You could feel great about it. And that means absolutely nothing. It does not mean you will get it. Um, because so much about being an actor is not what you do. Um, a lot of it is your look. A lot of it is even just your vibe. Um, you just have to be right for it. And there are a lot of instances where you could be the best actor for the part, but you're not the best vibe. Um, so, so much of it is out of, out of your hands. Um, and that was, you know, one of the things that just bummed me out about, uh, doing it professionally. Um, but I would say I don't regret doing it at all. I really enjoyed the experience of being LA. I met a lot of good friends. I learned a lot about myself. I was kind of, like, independent for the first time in my life, really. Um... Because, honestly, just a lot of things worked out for me in my life up to that point. Um, and I hadn't really experienced much failure, honestly. Um, and it was pretty beneficial in that way. And even I had some great successes. Like, I won't poo-poo what I was able to accomplish, you know. Um... We can probably get some good, some good levels in here. What does this say? It's a Pokemon report. Four Pokemon evolved only when traded by Link Cable. Um, and that is, oh, hi. Um, I did not know I would have to fight you. Ah, Kadabra. Um, but yeah, Kadabra is one of those Pokemon that only evolves via Link Cable. Oh, that was a terrible turn. I got hit and then didn't hit back. It's about as bad a turn as you can have. Um, see, Surf is my most powerful move, but against the Kadabra, Bite. Bite's gonna be the play, because its defense is very bad. Oh, Mr. Mime. In later games, Bite would actually be a Dark-type move, which would be good against a Psychic-type like Mr. Mime. However, in this game, the dark type doesn't exist. I thought maybe wing attack would do half. Let's see. I don't think we've seen Mr. Mime yet. It's a very weird Pokemon. Very humanoid, very strange. Um, I think I talked about the Mr. Mime bit in Detective Pikachu. Ah, yes, the first virtual reality Pokemon is Porygon. That's a Pokemon that you can buy from the game corner, which is really weird and interesting. Um, but yeah, so kids out there, <laughs> if you're thinking about being an actor, just take my words to heart. All that being said, I will say, acting is wonderful. I love it. It can be a ridiculously rewarding and connecting experience with your fellow person. Um, but just know some of those realities about the business of it. Okay, good. Love to see that. Oh yeah, Boney! Nice. Yeah, and like I said here, guys, here is where we're going to catch a lot of levels. Um because our squad does need them, for sure. Let's get Eve up front. I don't think I've even used Eve once. So, we're gonna go back here so we land on the warp panel, because in this little nook, here's the card key. So the card key is the thing that can open these shutters, or open the door. I think they're called shutters in generation two. And there's just like a lot of good items around here. Like that was something. Takedown. 
Um, it's not a move I'm really ever going to use, and I'm just going to teach it to Copter. You can go, Copter. Got a strong normal type move if you need one. So takedown is kind of like double edge. Um, it's kind of like a super tackle that does some damage back to you. Um, protein. That raises your attack, so I'm going to give that to Copter. Perfect, because Copter really utilizes his attack power. Um, so we're just kind of going to kind of go through the levels a little bit. Um, what I might do is there is a healing spot here in the Sylph Co. So I won't have to go back out um, or use all my potions or anything. Nice. Okay, Machoke. Let's get Copter in here. Use that super effective fly. I love that Machoke sprite. Mm. I feel like when it comes to in the first like four generations, they had the static sprites. Sometimes they would have like a little animation, but then they would stay static. I always think that Pokemon Yellow has the best sprites. I feel like, I mean, obviously they're a little pixelated, it's older, um, but I just love the personality that they have. Yeah, and I'm not gonna fight all of the trainers in here, but I am gonna fight a lot of them. Oh, I was maybe not gonna fight this guy, but here we go. And he has five Pokemon, so that's fun. Okay. I feel like Thunderbolt will not be effective against Voltor, but it might do more than Double Kick, and it did. Also, the critical hit probably helped. Um, Alright, let's get Boney some action for the ground types. Uh, let's see, what else about today? Uh, my wife and I made chili, which is great. Mostly she made chili. Um, but it was absolutely delicious. She also made cornbread to go with it. Um, so we had a grand old time for dinner. I actually, uh, we actually ate that right before I hopped on. My wife is a really good cook. She's not just good in Pokemon battles. But uh, we always usually cook together. Kind of the way I describe it is that she is kind of like the head chef and I am kind of like the sous chef. Um, on most things. There are a lot, of, there are some things that I will make on my own as well for us, but she is definitely the the leading chef of our house. Um, okay, let's let's get Titus in here. But yeah, our chili was delicious and wonderful. Uh, yes, got some more here. I'll fight you. Okay. Oh, I was gonna have Keith Angel in the front. This would have been perfect. Let's see if a stab double kick will do it. It will not. Okay. Great. Yes, here we will go into Keith Angel to knock out this Sand Slash. Sand Shrew evolves into Sand Slash. It's a pretty uh, natural progression, as you can see there. Um, that should one shot it. Perfect. Um, do, 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 um, so, again, apologies if you're not into speed up. I just try to make some of these long sequences where you're battling, just, just, uh, doing a lot of battles. Try to keep things going a little bit, you know. Um, we're actually going to go out to Keith Angel because Cubone's Bone Club will not affect Keith, An Keith Angel because he is part flying type. I don't really know why. 
I mean, I do know why. It's because he's kind of like... Gyarados is kind of based on, like, those dragons that you'll see in parades, you know? Um, so he's kind of, like, floating and flying, and it's really cool. Um, but he never learns any flying-type moves. Which, again, guys, if you're going to give him a type, give him some moves of that type so they can use it. Um, and that is definitely something they have learned as they have gone along. Um... Oh, I think we had another TM that I wanted to check out. Ah, yes. Our fighting type Titus will be a perfect matchup against Raticate. Um, so as like the big uh, Team Rocket section of the game, um, there are some fun boss fights. Oh crap, I did not mean to use that. Oh, nice! But yeah, see, there's that recoil damage from takedown. Oh, that was weird. Um, ooh, doo, ooh, doo, yes. Um, so as being like the big Team Rocket section of this game, um, there's going to be some boss fights, which I'm pretty excited to show you guys. I think we might be able to get to one in today's stream. Um because I can always split up some of the trainers that, we'll, that we will want to fight in this building so that we're not all fighting, so that this episode isn't all just fighting the Team Rocket grunts in here. Um, I believe we got a TM. What was this TM? Swords Dance. Okay. Oh, for wife? I don't know. I don't know if I really want to use Sword Stance on Wife, because um, we're not really going to use f uh, physical moves. Titus will get the HP up. He has the lowest. Um, this lady might give you a TM for opening the door for her. I don't remember. Oh, nope. She's just like, you came to save me? Also, just so we're clear, this is a child. This is a child. Saving the day here. Um, okay. So again, I'm not going to fight everybody. I think I'm going to get us to our, um, healing area. Ugh. Oh, I love having fighting moves. Because fighting moves, fun fact, are the only moves that are super effective against normal types. Um. Let's get Surf going. Um, so yeah, normal is actually not super effective against anything, but it has some really good advantages, like, um, the only thing super effective against it is, um, fighting, and ghost-type moves actually do not affect normal-type Pokemon, which is kind of like an interesting thing. Um, it's like this Pokemon is so normal that something so abnormal, like a ghost, won't even affect it. Um, that's probably one of my favorite, you know, little type chart quirks. Um, yeah, I'll just have Thunderbolt just wipe this Rattata off the face of the Earth. Um, I think the only Pokemon not up to 32 is Copter. Yes, that is correct. So and open more of these shutters. I'm just kind of opening some of them as we go along. I know there's some good items. Um, I know there's one item here in the Sylph Company that we are definitely going to want to pick up. Um, I'm almost positive it's in here. And I believe this is, yes, this is where, oops, hello. I guess we have one more fight before I can get to our desired place. Golbat does not have much to hurt my Aerodactyl, because that'll be not very effective. Ugh! Keep misclicking there. Yes, that's really the only thing it can do, is put, uh, paralyze me. Um... Okay. That'll work. Um... So yeah, we can talk a little more about... Um, Pokemon Day, um, in case you missed it, which 
Um, if you're a Pokemon fan, it's uh, people have been waiting with bated breath um, for the Pokemon Presents today. And anytime there's a Pokemon Presents, it's just um, a video they will put out on a certain day that just talks about just the next games that they're working on. And it's where a lot of people will get their news on the franchise. And it's kind of like a kind of like a state of the union, but for something far less important. Uh, we'll stay in the copter here. See what we can do. But today they announced this new game called Pokemon Legends ZA. Um, which it's supposed to take place in the same region as the Generation 6 games. This is Generation 1. This takes place at the same time as the gen same region as Generation 6. Um, but if the Legends Arceus game is any indication, it will take place at a different time? Maybe in the future? It's really hard to tell. They did not give a ton of information. Really all they said is that it will be out next year. Don't know when. Um, so here, this is a little nurse. And she has just this little station where you can heal, heal on up. So, the next, the first boss fight that we will encounter, um, I always remember, let me hit this with a little save. Beat a ba bow The first boss that we will encounter here is going to be pretty soon. Uh, we'll have a couple more fights here and then we'll, we will get to them. But I will say, I don't remember exactly what levels they're at. We might very well be under leveled again. And unlike the uh, Koga fight where Koga just kept doing stupid stuff, <laughs> like trying to poison my wife even though um, it wasn't affected by it. Things like that. Um, his Pokemon won't be as bad. And his uh, move selection probably won't be either. Um, let's see. Okay. So we'll have one more battle here. Yes, we'll battle the scientist. And then we'll go do our boss fight. After this battle, I'll probably just go back and heal. Um, just to make sure we're in tippy-top shape. Yeah, and this Electrode is an Electro-type, which is bad for the Flying-type Aerodactyl. But, again, in this game, it doesn't really know any Electro-type moves. Um, that's just kind of how this game is. All right, Weezing. Let's go to Bony. I also have not been able to uh, decide if I was cold or hot today. Yeah, it's pretty unseasonably warm in Ohio right now because um, we are toward the end of February here and it's usually still pretty cold but it was 67 today albeit cloudy but um, pretty crazy usually what happens in Ohio is that you'll get this time where it gets pretty warm like today um, but then it just gets like super cold again randomly and you'll just get a lot of snow um, so these warm days are what we like to call false spring in Ohio and then there will be second winter probably in like mid-March and then hopefully after that we'll get into real spring um, so here we're gonna save because we got a battle coming up. Um, and if you can see him down there, once we pass this table, we're gonna catch his eyes. All right, let's see. His theme is wonderful, very sassy. 
I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. Wow, so neat. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, you're taking on Team Rocket. I'm just messing around, man. Let's battle. Um, oh, I forgot he starts with Sand Slash. I started with the exact wrong Pokemon, as a matter of fact. Um, but no matter. We'll swap to Keith Angel. It should be a pretty quick fix. So, something interesting with your rival. Um, kind of like canonically, he's known as Blue. Um, within, like, the game's universe. You can name him whatever you want, but when you see the character, like, in later games, he's known as Blue. And Blue kind of has, like, a lot of iconic Pokemon on his team that are, like, pretty native to him. Um, ooh, Ninetales, this is fine. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous sprite. Um, and Ninetales is a fire type, full picks of also the Ninetales. So we're actually pretty close to par level-wise. Uh, but anyway, um, Blue has a lot of Pokemon that are pretty that are considered pretty iconic to him. Um, but in Yellow, they don't let him use any of those Pokemon. So his teams in this game specifically is very different than what you would expect really to see from him in any other game he's in. Like whether it's a as a main character or like a cameo or whatever. Um, okay, Cloyster. Cloyster is going to be a great Pokemon for Eve. But actually, we're going to use my wife. I also love how Weepin' Bell is officially just my wife. <laughs> I will never call her Weepin' Bell. Um, uh, Aurora Beam is going to hurt really bad. At least we didn't die. Oh, very interesting. I thought that would have done more damage. Okay. All right, we'll let Eve do it. Eve should be faster, for sure. And this should kill a Cloyster. Ba -da. There we go, wife. See, in other games, Cloyster is known for having a strong physical defense, but not so much special defense. So you usually want to use special defense, special attacks on it, rather. Um... Oh yeah, I think, I think we're going to be able to get through our rival no problems. Because we are a titchel underleveled, but we have a very strong team. I uh, really wanted to build a good squad for the folks at home. There we go, Copter. Ah, Supersonic. Lovely. Um... You know, agility is really useful because it really raises our speed. And there's actually something called the badge boost glitch where, you know what, I'm not going to learn supersonic. I don't think we need to. There's something called, ooh, Jolteon. So our rival has the same evolution we do. Luckily, we have the perfect counter in Bony. Because none of Jolteon's electric moves will be able to affect us as a ground type. So we should be good. Yeah, so it's gonna try to troll us here with sand attacks and make us miss. But to no avail! Critical hit! Um, yeah, there you go. Goodbye, Gary. I was worried for nothing. I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I am going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. Ooh, that's... Uh, Really the first mention of the game of the Elite Four. I also like how there's casually teleportation technology in this universe. Um, this is a famous guy. He gives you a Lapras, just gives it to you. Basically, this is kind of the game ensuring that you have a Pokemon that can use Surf. Lapras is a very iconic Pokemon that uses Surf. It's like a really cool, like, dinosaur turtle thing that you ride on. Um, ooh, yes, yeah, so it'll give you a lift. Yeah, he's basically saying you can use it to use Surf. Um, let's get Titus at the beginning here. Um, I'm going to go back and heal up. Um... Alright, so
So we have a couple more boss fights here. And we'll have one here in a moment. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, but yes, back uh, regarding Lapras. Take one step out of here. Our friends Jesse and James back once more for a trouncing. Um, I believe this is the last time in the game that we'll get to see our friends Jesse and James. They are really, I really love their appearance in Mountain Moon specifically because at that point in the game, they are pretty strong. Um, and it's a really fun, like unexpected encounter. But at this point in the game, they're just not that strong anymore. Like their Pokemon have evolved, but like, as you can see, their levels are pretty well below um, our rivals. Arbok Boney is a great Pokemon to keep in, but I'm gonna... I'll keep in Boney. Boney's really having his day. One shot, baby. Alright, and finally, their token Meowth, which at this point in the game, Meowth is not a very strong Pokemon to have. They famously never evolve their, Meow their Meowth, so it's like a fun little anime nod, but you see just one half of Hitmonlee's double kick just wipes it out. Um, Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light. Again. Oh, those poor little guys. So as you can see, there's Giovanni. He has the president of the Silphco kind of in a bind. Um, but we're not going to deal with him right this very second. I kind of want to uh, wander around here, find some more items. Um, yes, I believe this is pretty early on. Like it's the third floor or the fourth floor something. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of bounce around, um, see if there are any more items lying around. I know specifically there is one item I really want to get. Calcium's a really good one. We'll fight you. Because at this point, we are nearing the end of the Team Rocket encounter. We just I just want to find some more items in here. Um, Muck. Uh, this will be great for Keith Angel. Because this would be great for Marowak as well, but I really want to get some levels on all the team. I really like having, whenever I do a team run like this, um, I really enjoy having, and see, this is why I bought all those full heals back on Cinnabar Island. Uh, because an antidote will heal poison, but a full heal will heal anything. Which is super useful. Um, but whenever I do a team run like this, I like to just have um, all of my squad like at the same level, for the most part. Um, yeah. Yeah, this took us back to the first floor. See, these kind of take you whatever which way. Um, I feel like you may be giving me, I wonder if Sylph is finished. No, it's not finished. It's never over. Where's your faith? Um, okay. Oh, wow, that just takes you right back there, huh? How about that? Um, aha. Have I fought you? Oh, no, I have not. You're one of the four Rocket Brothers. But yeah, I'm using, I'm using speed up more than I usually would. Just because at this point, we are kind of toward the end of this dungeon. We just need to clean up some things. Um, and I maybe said that already, so sorry if I have. <laughs> there we go, Titus. Titus getting some levels. We'll go into Eve here to clean up the Golbat. There we go. 
Nice. Um, so let's, let's just keep going up, because I can go to the top floor. Yes, see, this is where the president is. Um, yeah, I'll fight you. Oh, you have so many Pokemon. I'm just speeding right through. Oh, nice. This is great. This is one of Hitmonlee's better moves. And it's just another fighting type move. Um, that's just really helpful to have. But for these Rattata, they're pretty weak, so we can kind of bulldoze through them with um, just some regular old um, double kicks. So really what I want to do here is... Yeah, my internet's being a little weird right now. Um, what I want to do is... Where's Titus? There you are. All right, folks. So I'm gonna finish this up. Oh, there we go. We're starting to look, uh, maybe not. Sorry guys. Looks like I might be dropping a few frames. Um, so I'm kind of speeding through here. Okay, this is where these items are. Um, guys, it looks like my connection is being a little bit weird. So sorry if you can't hear this. Um, but I am going to go ahead and call it here, um, and we will battle Giovanni next time, we'll pick up these items next time, and happy Pokemon Day, so good of you to watch this, um, really, really appreciate it, and I will see you all next time, peace.